Wheat School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and what has happened to my beautiful wheat crop? You can see here in front of me, the wheat crop's almost up to my waist, and here where I'm standing, it's just shrunk down, it's barely over my knees. We have drought, not only drought, but we have just incredible heat stress here in Ontario, and that doesn't happen to us very often. Gosh, you'd think we were farming in southern Alberta for crying out loud. So. The scenario, we really haven't had moisture since the 1st of May. Nonetheless, the wheat crop was doing very, very well. Lots of farmers pouring management inputs into it because it looked like it was going to take it. No rainfall, 14th of June, day before my birthday, doggone temperature soars. 34 degrees Celsius days, 44 with the Humidex, 24 degree nights, no break. Wheat does not like high temperatures. If it has moisture, even at high temperatures, then it can actually transpire, cool itself off. In this situation, no moisture, can't transpire, high temperatures, and it just, we go sweltering. You get sweltering and the wheat crop simply crashes. So, we just, we end up with plants. They've just fired up from the bottom. They're done. There, it's not going to be a great wheat yield because of those very high temperatures. We've shortened the grain fill period. From Thursday to Monday on the really drought prone soils, so the heavy clays in Lambton County, the sands of Norfolk, anywhere where you have a gravel bottom like I'm standing right in this little patch, you can draw an organic matter map in this field based on these symptoms. Meanwhile, wherever you have that, in that five day period, we essentially matured the wheat almost two weeks. So instead of a nice 35 or better yet, a 38 day grain fill period, we're back to 32 or 30 or less. So it's all bad. Drought, we can tolerate. It's a dry land crop. We really tolerate that pretty well. But you couple dry weather, no rainfall, and you get these wacky high temperatures, big winds. So the drying winds went with it as well. We had 30, 40, 50 kilometer an hour winds. And just like the people in Kansas have learned for a long time, you get a week of high temperatures and big winds and the wheat crop just shuts down. Unfortunately, that's what's happened here in Ontario with these droughty areas. Draw your organic matter map. Don't give up. Next year will be a new year. Won't be a bin buster this year. It'll still be okay, but not a bin buster. Peter Johnson, realagriculture.com. Just really sad with what's happened with my wheat crop this year.